Shalom Akim. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh HaKodash, double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect. Just want to go into a lesson, and I'll probably entitle this, The Famine of the Word and the Persecution. And this is based upon this article here, you know, that I came across, which is from uh, the People's Voice TV. And it's entitled WEF urges world governments to arrest citizens who spread, quote unquote, misinformation online. All right. And we, you know, know about the WEF. OK, we know who they are. All right. And we know that basically, you know, they like a uh, spokes people for the agenda of the elites. Now, these people in particular, they're not running things. All right. These are just, you know, the people that the elites push to the forefront, you know, they like using, uh, you know, scapegoats or putting somebody else out there because they don't want the attention, you know, on themselves. OK, nevertheless, the policies that come from the this organization, they are implemented throughout the world. OK, so this is what's coming. All right. And we've been saying this, man. All right. It's for you, you. Jake's out there, okay, you Israelites, you know, that 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 know that you Israelites, you think it's a game, a hey, crunch time is coming, all right, and we've been telling you this through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashumi Shai for a long time, man, beginning first and foremost with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, okay, they've been telling you that this damn devil's gonna come down with that great wrath, so you in this thing, you think it's a joke, you know, you think it's just a fashion statement to be an Israelite, nah, you better prepare yourself, man. Okay, if you ain't right with Yahweh by Shimmy Howard Shah, that nigga Esau gonna get you. Okay, and he's coming. Alright? This ain't no joke, man. This this is this is deadly serious. Alright? So I'm gonna read a little bit of this. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Okay. I could probably post the uh, you know the link in the description if you want to read the whole thing. But I'm gonna just get you know straight to the point. Alright. And the point is in the, you know, the first few sentences, the first few paragraphs of this article. Okay, it says the World Economic Forum, the WEF, has ordered world governments to begin arresting citizens who are caught spreading so-called misinformation on social media. All right, and we know what misinformation is. It's anything that goes against the narrative of the elites. Okay, which the ones that's at the top of that list is the, the, the nation of Israel. Okay, the so-called black Hebrew Israelites, that's what they call us, right? Which we are the true descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In the mind of Esau, Edom, we spread nothing but misinfo, because he's, he's the real Jew, right? His line supposedly goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, we descend from Canaan or whatever madness this nigga Esau has come up with. The last thing we are, though, are, are the Israelites. Okay, so that's misinfo right there. Oh, we going to... The, the New World Order, all right? We speak about how there's a, a secret group of elite Edomites that, that seek to control the world, which all these things are in the scriptures. That's so-called misinfo, all right? So we at the top of the list, man, okay? And like I've always said, this nigga ain't worried about so-called truthers out there. You know, you got your uh, people that go on, online, they make videos so-called exposing their elites, you know, exposing their plans, all right? They, they ain't worried about individuals like that this 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 call is not really for those individuals okay this damn devil's goal is going after the nation of israel but he can't just come out and say that so he's going you know use his blanket statement misinformation and disinfo okay and he's going to round other people up and then eventually we're going to be included in that all right so this is going to look weird if he just singles out so-called negroes latinos and native americans all right People gonna point the finger and say, well, really, you just going after these people. You got a problem with them. You know? What's wrong with you, man? Okay, but it's gonna come out eventually anyway. All right? Because we're in a time of this damn devil being exposed. Okay? And one thing that proves that this is getting ready to be implemented throughout the world, okay, they are already pushing this in Ireland. All right? They got a bill out there that I believe you get 12 years for spreading, uh, quote unquote misinformation all right so it's just gonna spread man 
okay? Because these damn devils, they are trying to establish a new world order, all right? And they have to control the narrative in this kingdom that they uh, are trying to set up. So it says, according to a disturbing WEF memo, misinformation and disinformation disseminated via the internet must now be classified as acts of terror. Okay, and we've been telling you Israelites out there that you will be classified as terrorists, man. You claiming to be an Israelite, you acknowledging your heritage, that's a terroristic act. Okay, so this ain't no joke, man. All right, we, we, don't, we don't make these videos to be seen by men or try to gain clout. You know, we do this first and foremost to warn you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans of what's getting ready to come down the pipeline, all right? And also, we do it because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai commanded us to do this, all right? So we want to stay on the Heavenly Father's good side, man, okay? But all you Israelite groups out there, and you think this is a joke, and you know, this ain't serious, or you, you just an Israelite, and it's a, it's, a, it's a fad thing, or it's a fashion statement, and hey, you're going to be in for a rude awakening, man. Because this damn devil is getting ready to classify you as a terrorist so he can make his move. All right. This is Revelation 12 and 12. It says, therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. And who's the devil? Okay. If you will see him on the, on, the, on, the, <laughs> on the video. Okay. Well, she's just one of many. All right, Klaus uh, uh, Rothschild. Okay, that's the devil that is talking about. It's talking about the elites. Okay, they the ones that's gonna come down with this great wrath. So who came up with this policy, man? First of all, it wasn't this devil that you see on there. Okay, it was the, it was the elites that are above him. All right, they the ones that came up with this policy. They told him, okay, tell the people at the you know the WEF. Okay, you could tell the world. All right. So the one coming down with that great wrath is Esau Edom, the elites, which that that's that would be considered misinfo, you know. <laughs> All right. It says for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. We look this word great wrath up. OK, it goes into someone being in a, in a, in a drunken state of rage. And that's how this damn devil is coming. OK. And who is he mad at? He's mad at you so-called Negroes. Latinos and Native Americans, all right, especially you ones that know that you Israelites, man, okay. And this is a this is an ancient hatred that this nigga got. This is Genesis twenty-seven and forty-one. It says, "And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him." So this is where that anger goes back to, all right. This nigga is still mad unto this day that our father supplanted him, okay. That Jacob supplanted Esau, the nigga pissed off. He, he still want that birthright back, man, after this many millennia. All right. And us claiming this heritage is, 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 is rekindling that anger in that nigga, man. All right. He just can't get it out of his mind. You know, in his mind, he got finesse by Jacob, which really was it was a clean transaction, man. It says and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing with his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, in his mind, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And this is not changed. Okay. This is still in Esau's mind, man. He still want to put you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to death. Especially you ones that know that you Israelites, you proclaiming it all, you know, on the mountaintops, so to speak. All right. You walking around with your fringes on, you 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 are a target for Esau Edom. Just the mere fact that you having that on, that nigga gonna know you a terrorist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so back in Revelation 12 and 12, it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. All right. So he knows that his time is almost up, man. And the more Israelites that wake up, the, the, the shorter his time gets. Okay, so now he has to make his move. All right, which is all according to biblical prophecy anyway. All right. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai said that this man will come down with that great wrath. Okay. And he's been unable to implement his new world order. Okay. Through his, his lies and his propaganda. Okay. And, 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 you know, mind controlling these people and trying to steer them down that path. So now the option that the only option that he has left is violence. 
Okay, he's going to use the guise of terrorism as a way to enact violence against uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you Israelites. All right, so all you dudes that's out there on the street, okay, and you think this is just a joke, this is a thing that you do, you know, on, on Saturdays or whatever day you go out that this ain't, this ain't, this ain't real, hey, you, you, you better get your head straight, man. Okay, you getting ready to be classified as a terrorist and nigga Esau gonna, gonna give you the terrorist treatment. All right, look up what they did to them, them, them Ishmaelis in Guantanamo Bay, man. This is what that nigga Esau is preparing to do to you. All right. Because therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. Okay, and again, that great wrath goes into Esau being in a drunken state of rage. So this is this is the last time, okay? His his last hoorah, his last chance that he gonna have to secure that birthright, man. If he don't get it now, he ain't never gonna get it. Okay, so he 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 gon' he gonna do whatever is necessary to try to fulfill, you know, uh uh to try to achieve getting that birthright, man. And this is uh, verse 17 in the same chapter, it says, and the dragon was wroth with the woman. And you 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 see. The, the, the anger being aroused by this damn devil, okay? He, he calling us terrorists for, for realizing who we are, you know? Anybody that's, you know, speaking anything concerning the nation of Israel, all right, and, and proclaiming that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are Israelites, he gonna say we terrorists. We spread misinformation and disinformation, okay? Because the elites don't, don't, uh, they don't want that narrative to go out. You know, it says, and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. So, hey, man, this damn devil couldn't ready to make war with you. Okay. And we are targets. All right. Our face is all on the Internet. Nigga know exactly who we are, man. Okay. You know, you live, you know, you work at and he, he going, he going to come for your ass. All right. Now the question is: Are you, uh, you know, straight with your high boss, Shimmy Shai, that he will protect you in that day? Okay. Or you just think this is a joke? You know, I go out and I got, I got my staff. I slam the staff on the ground. You know, I scream, "Bring it out!" at the top of my lungs every time somebody get a scripture. You know, or am I really serious about this, man? Do I really want your high boss, Shimmy Shai, to have mercy on me? Okay, see, a lot of you jakes out there, you be playing fucking games, man. You think it's a joke, all right? The last thing in your mind is getting getting a pardon from you. How about Shimmy How Shy? You don't even care about that. You just go out there and get on the street and curse Esau out, you know? That make you feel good, you know? Not understanding what's really going on, man. It's, we reading it right now. The nigga getting ready to make war with you Israelites, man. Okay? And we don't have no weapons. We don't got no standard army, man. We don't got no formal uh, combat training. All right. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't, you know, prepared to stand in formation and get in battle array and go against Esau. All right. Not like that would work anyway. Okay. We need Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right. Hey, but the way you know Jake moving out here, they don't, it don't seem like they believe that. Okay. <laughs> oh, you, you got certain dudes that think they got rights, man. I got rights. All right, let's see how much rights you got when when that nigga declare you a terrorist. All right, when he he says you committing uh, acts of terror and that nigga lock you up and he start torturing you, man. Let's see how many rights you got. Okay, the only right you got is to believe in your how about Shimmy how shot ask him for help. All right, it says the dragon was wroth with the woman. And what to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. And what's the testimony of Yahweh Shah? Okay, let's get it real quick. This is who he's mad at, man. This in Esau's mind, this is misinfo. Okay, this is Revelation 19 and 10. It says, And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that had the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And in the mind of Esau, Edom, prophecy is misinfo and disinformation. So anyone out here prophesying, you're going to be deemed a terrorist. Okay? And a nigga going to come for you. 
Okay? You 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 are an enemy combatant if you prophesy in the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right? So back in this article here. So it says according to a disturbing WEF memo, misinformation and disinformation disseminated via the internet must now be classified as acts of terror, which we've been prepared for this. Okay? This is the famine of the word. This is the persecution that's prophesied about in the scriptures. Okay. It says the memo warns of future cybersecurity lies in stomping out all forms of non-mainstream content online. And YouTube has already begun to do this. Okay. There are no alternative news uh, sites that are pushed on YouTube. Okay. If you're looking for a certain topic or a certain event that is taking place and you search it. Uh, on YouTube, you only get mainstream results. You're gonna get ABC, you're gonna get CBS, you're gonna get uh, uh, Fox, you know, the, the, the mainstream uh, news organizations, which who owns those news organizations, man? The same people that, that, that run the WEF, the same people that run the world, Esau Edom, the elites. Okay, so they're, they're controlling, are trying to flow, are trying to control the flow of info. All right. So anything outside of that, it's a, they, they gonna consider it lies and, and a threat, just like they do today. Okay, if it hasn't come from a, an official source, it's a lie, and they can get the fact checkers out there to dispute bullshit, you know. But what you're saying is is misinfo and disinfo. It says this introduces a novel perspective. Which the word novel means new. Okay, this introduces a novel perspective. Of the significance of locating and quashing fabricated information, cynically tagged as mis or disinformation held in the cybersecurity domain. Okay, so this is this is a new thing. All right, this is what they're going to implement. All right, and in the world of Esau Edom, if he's able to, if he was able to establish his new order, if you you misspeak or you have a misthink, you know, you gonna get punished for that, man. You think the government is lying to you? You'll be punished. They'll shut your chip off. You know, or they'll 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 disappear you and send you to a re-education camp. You know, for a time and then let you come back out. Okay, this is the world that this damn devil envisions. All right, but how about Shemiah Shai is not going to allow this damn devil to achieve this, man? We are gonna get to this point to a certain extent. Okay, because when this gets implemented, that's when the famine of the word is gonna kick in. All right. And you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out there, you, you, you should be afraid of this right here, okay? And the reason why you should be afraid is because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is getting ready to remove the prophets from the scene, man. And that should make you afraid because the prophets are your medium between the Heavenly Father, okay? If the Most High want to speak to you, He's going to send His servants down here to talk to you. Okay, so if the prophets ain't here, if something takes place, man, you ain't getting no word from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, you can't ask for mercy from the Heavenly Father because his mediums have left. All right, you can't speak to the Heavenly Father. You just got to deal with whatever the hell is going on. Okay, this is uh, Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, power that I will send a famine in the land. And that's all this is. Okay. The WEF is they're doing the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai on the left hand side. Okay? So the Most High is going to put it in the mind of Esau Edom. Which he's already done it to restrict the words of the Heavenly Father from coming out. Okay? And it's going to start online and eventually it's going gonna, it's gonna to move to the streets. All right? So at one point, you ain't going to be able to watch the, the, these videos on the internet, man. They're going to shut it down. Okay? You're going to have to go out to the streets. All right, and then that's gonna get too much for Esau, and then the nigga gonna he gonna he gonna stop that, he gonna shut that down, and we ain't gonna be out on the streets after that, man. Okay, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to completely remove this word from the public eye, and then what you gonna do in that day? If you need guidance, if you need to talk to the Heavenly Father, what are you gonna do? There ain't nobody to talk to. The messengers have left. Okay. So any any situation that you find yourself in, you gotta counsel with yourself, man. <laughs> All right, so this should be a, a very fearful thing to you Israelites out there, man. 
Okay, but we we know the mentality that Jake is in. Jake don't give a fuck. Okay, so you just gonna have to deal with what goes down. All right, you got to deal with all the hell that's gonna come your way, man. But see, if you had you know any scruples, you would be trying to strengthen your relationship with your how about Shimmy how shy right now. There ain't gonna be nobody you can go to to get access to the heavenly Father. It says. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh, okay, so if you want to get counsel from the Heavenly Father, you are able to obtain that by going and, you know, getting in front of the prophets, okay, the messengers of Yahweh, Yahweh, it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh, and shall not find it. Okay, you ain't going to be able to find the words of Yahweh, Shai in that day. Okay, and like I said, that's, 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 a, that's a terrifying thing, man, to not have a connection to Yahweh, Yahweh, not be able to converse with the Heavenly Father to know what the hell is going on out there. Okay, but Israelites, they, 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 don't, they don't know what the hell is going on, man. Okay. As we bring the scripture all the time and Jake walk by and Jake don't really understand, you know, the significance of this scripture. OK, and the significance of Yahweh about Shemi Shai removing his prophets from you, man. All right. See, back in the ancient time, before we did anything, we would go consult the prophets. OK, because they are the connection between uh, uh, the men down here on the earth and Yahweh about Shemi Shai. If you want to go to war, you got you got to go go seek the prophets, man. OK. What, what should I do? Should I go to war or should I should I should I fall back? And the prophet will tell you, you know, fall back. Okay, if that's that's the will of the Heavenly Father. The most high don't want you to go to war. Okay, if he wants you to go to war, then he'll, he'll tell you to proceed, man. Okay, but that 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 is gonna be removed from you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Well, like they got this saying, you 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 don't appreciate something until it's gone. <laughs> It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh, and shall not find it. You ain't going to find the men of the Lord. Okay? You ain't going to find Yahweh, Yahweh. Okay? If you don't got a, a personal relationship with them, you ain't going to find them. It says, in that day, the fair virgins and the young men shall faint for thirst, and that thirst is going into the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh, Yahweh. You're going to get caught up out here, man. Okay, you how about Shimmy How Shai going? Hey, he gonna put you people through the ringer. All right, and you ain't gonna be able to talk to a medium to get you how about Shimmy How Shai to ease up on you. The Most High, he falling back. Okay, he conversing with you right now, but what are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans doing? You running from the Heavenly Father. The Most High want to sit down and have a conversation with your ass. You you running from him? You flipping them off? You telling them the hell with you? Man, I don't want to talk to you. Who, who the hell are you? You know, why well, I gotta sit down and talk to you? Well, okay, we 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 gonna see about that, man. And then when you want to talk to the heavenly Father, He ain't gonna be available. All right, this is Ezekiel seven and two. It says, "Also, thou son of man, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemi, I will shine power unto the land of Israel." Okay, which in this case we talking about the people. Okay, the land of Israel represents you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans as a whole. All right, it says an end. The end is come upon the four corners of the land. All right. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. So you how about Shemiah Shine talking to you niggas no more, man? Now it's time for judgment. Okay? And that's why the famine of the word should be a fearful thing for you Jakes. Okay, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. That mean y'all about Shimmy Al Shai done talking to you niggas. Okay? He ain't trying to reason with you no more, man. Now, now he gonna destroy you. And there ain't no talking to the most high. Oh, please, you know, alleviate, you know, this, these plagues from it. Nah, I ain't, I ain't trying to hear that, man. Okay? I have my servants out there trying to talk to him, and you shunned him, so now I'm gonna destroy you. Alright? Cause see, back in the ancient time, the most high would send plagues, but the prophets were still available. Okay, so you can go and inquire of the Heavenly Father as to why these things are happening. And the Most High, I tell you, okay, I'm doing this because of this. Well, okay, how do we make it right? Well, this is what you got to do. 
And once that that you know thing was done, the, the plagues are gone. But you ain't gonna be able to do that, man, because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to remove the prophets. Okay, the Most High gonna cut access off to him. It says that my eyes shall not spare you. The Most High is not going to spare you, man. He don't care what, what state you're in. Judgment is coming. Okay, you got a lame foot. All right, your leg is broken. You in a wheelchair. The Most High don't care. He don't give a fuck about that. Judgment is coming, man. All right, you ain't going to be able to go and, and seek the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to figure out how you can make things right. The time for that is over. All right. It says that my eyes shall, my eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity. But I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, power and evil, and only evil, behold, is coming. That's all you got to look forward to. Okay? Once, once the famine of the word kicks in, okay, full gear, all you got to look forward to is evil, man. All right? Which evil means bad times. That's all you got to look forward to. Ain't no good coming your way, man. It says, an end is come, the end is come, it watches for thee. Behold, it is come. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come, the day of trouble is near. In the time of Jacob's trouble is getting ready to take place, man. And while Jacob's trouble is happening, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is not going to be available to you niggas, man. Okay? You just going to have to deal with the judgments that's raining down. The famine, the pestilence, Esau, Edom coming for you. Okay? And just like we was reading, anything that's considered misinfo or disinformation, anybody that disseminates that, you consider the terrorist. All right. And a nigga Esau, he going is this gonna be retroactive, man? Anybody that has shared anything concerning the Israelites, that nigga gonna target you. He coming for your ass. All right. Whether you was doing it in jest or not, whether you was doing it because you was angry or upset with uh what the Israelites are saying, that nigga coming for your ass, man. It says, the morning has come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land, the time has come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon him. This is going to be quick. Okay? This deal is going to go down quick, man. This ain't going to be no long, drawn-out thing, a 20-year thing. Okay? The how about Shumi Yahweh Shai going to get everybody <laughs> in one full swoop. He's going to get you niggas. He's going to get you, you damn devils. He's going to get you other nations. It says, now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. And my eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that smite. Okay, you're going to know Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is the one responsible for these things because any thing that you try to consult or try to use to get out of the situation that you're going to find yourselves in is not going to work okay and the ones that are going to be good are the ones that you know trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai you're going to see it okay you're going to see the men of the Lord the servants of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai out here doing good while you catching nothing but hell you're going to think to yourself why are these people good well, that, they, those, those, they was talking about God they was talking about the, the most high you know, what, what was his name? You might even remember the name, man. It's Second Ezra 8 and 50. It says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Okay? And you've exhibited that pride to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai on multiple occasions by walking by his servants and disregarding his word, thinking that you, you, you are above answering to the heavenly father well, okay we're we gonna see about that man all right we're gonna see how you fare when all hell's breaking loose and your how about shimmy how shy ain't there to, to, to help you out this is uh, ezekiel 5 and let's start at 8 it says therefore thus said the lord your how about shimmy how shy power behold i even i am against thee and will execute judgments in the midst of thee in the sight of the nation. See, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has been telling you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans this, man. He against you. All right? Then he's giving you an opportunity to make things right so you can be on the same accord and, and, and live in harmony. But Jake is saying to hell with that. You want to be an enemy of the Heavenly Father. So stay an enemy. Okay? It says, and I will do in thee. That which I have not done and whereunto I will not do any more the like because of all thine abominations 
Therefore the father shall eat the sons in the midst of thee, and the sons shall eat their fathers, and I will execute judgments in thee, and the whole remnant of thee will I scatter into all the winds. Which this happened before, okay, the cannibalism, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gonna run it back. Okay? This last part, the remnant being scattered into all the winds, that's something that took place in the past. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai ain't gonna scatter you niggas no more. He's just gonna destroy you. Okay, you you will you go you gonna eat each other again. Okay, that, that that's that's gonna be a curse that's gonna befall you again. All right, but the Most High ain't gonna scatter us again this time. First of all, we're already dispersed. Okay, the Most High gonna destroy the two thirds and he's gonna gather the elect and, and set them down over there in the land of Israel and establish the kingdom. It says, "Wherefore, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, power surely because thou hast defiled my sanctuary." With all thy detestable things, which back then it was talking about the actual temple. You had niggas in the temple worshiping idols, man. Okay, and what, what's Jake doing today? Jake is in the, the, the temple today worshiping idols. The temple is your body. Okay, your body is a sanctuary of the Heavenly Father. What niggas doing? Niggas celebrating Thanksgiving. Niggas eating pork, offering sacrifice to these other gods. All right, Jake, hey, Jake, Jake is out of control. It says, surely because thou hast defiled my sanctuary with all thy detestable things and with all thine abominations, therefore will I also diminish thee. Neither shall my eyes spare, neither will I have pity. See, and the Most High not having pity on you coincides with the famine of the word. Okay, because the Most High, the Most High don't want to talk to you. All right, he he's he just in the, in the in the mode of destroying you. Okay, he don't want to talk. He don't want to have no conversation. He don't want to meet uh, uh, eye to eye. Okay, get get on the same page with you niggas. You niggas, you you done for. All right, you are lost cause. At that point, <laughs> ain't no, ain't, ain't, there ain't nothing talking can do. All right. It says a third part of these shall die with the pestilence, and with famine shall uh, they be consumed in the midst of thee. And a third part shall fall by the sword round about thee, and I will scatter a third part into all the winds, and I will draw out a sword after them. So, hey, amen. Nothing but judgment is coming to you. Thus shall my anger be accomplished, and I will cause my fury to rest upon them, and I will be comforted. And they shall know that I, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, have spoken it in my zeal when I have accomplished my fury in them. Moreover, I will make thee waste. And a reproach among the nations that are round about thee in the sight of all that pass by, so it shall be a reproach and a taunt and instruction and an astonishment unto the nations that are round about thee when I shall execute judgments in thee in anger and in fury and in furious rebukes. I, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, have spoken it. When I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine, okay, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is literally going to starve you niggas out. Okay, and ain't gonna be no talking to the Heavenly Father, begging the Heavenly Father to give you food. You ain't got that kind of connection with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, so you're gonna starve. It says, which shall be for their destruction. See, the Most High, he, he, he ain't trying to, he, he don't want you niggas to get right. Okay, at that point, when, when the, the prophets are removed, any any hope, all right, which we know and understand that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai got everything under control. You know, he already knows who's gonna repent or who's not gonna repent, all right? Any hope that the Most High had of you turn it back That's out the window Okay You you just a lost cause The Most High gonna destroy you Alright And he's gonna send these things Upon you to destroy you Alright It ain't so you can get right Or you can, you can You know the Most High Gonna give you a little You know a smack So you can come to your senses Nah you, you gonna be destroyed It says when I shall send upon them The evil arrows of famine Which shall be for their destruction And which I will send to destroy you and I will increase the famine upon you and will break your staff for bread. The Most High is going to cut off all your food, man. Okay? And it's going to start off slow and it's going to gradually increase until there ain't no food left. Okay? That's what it means that he's he going to increase the famine upon you and he's going to break your staff for bread. So it's going to start off slow. You might have food for a week. Then one day you might go without food. Okay? Then you might have food the next week And then you're going to go two days without food And it's just going to gradually increase Until you ain't got nothing You're starving to death, man Alright This is the power that you pissed off It says, so will I send upon you famine and evil beasts And they shall bereave thee 
and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee, and I will bring the sword upon thee. I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, have spoken. And that's exactly how it's going to go down, man. The famine of the word signifies death and destruction to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? And it also represents persecution for you fakes and phonies out there, man. All right? Which is going to be uh, the, the result of that is going to be your death and destruction as well. All right? So I just want to go into that. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, willing. It was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone. Shalom.